Hello, this is Averages Lesson 1. In this, I will discuss basics with examples. This average chapter is one of the simplest chapter in quantitative aptitude. Let's start with a very simple example. For example, Dhoni, a cricketer is there. Dhoni, he scored 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 runs in 5 innings. And he got out in all of the innings. Now, what is the average score? Average score represented by A, average whenever we need to calculate is equal to total of all observations, T stand for total of all observations divided by N that is number of observations. So in this case total of all observation will be 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 plus 70 if you will add it will become 250. Number of observation it means or number of innings are 5 so your average score is 50 runs. So average this is only one single concept average is total by n total of all observations divided by number of observations if you need to calculate total it will be always be equal to a into n by the same concept so now let's say he scored 30 40 50 60 70 runs in five innings and average we know that average is 50 250 by 5 now if he could have scored two run extra in each of the innings if he could have scored two run extra in each of the innings or we can say otherwise like that if each number is increased by two what will be the impact on average so you can see that the total will increase by 10 total will now now be 260 and your average would be 260 by 5 that is 52 so average will also increase by 2 so in a simple logic you can say that if each observation is increased by 2 the average will also increase by 2 but if if each observation is decreased by 2 or you can say that if dhoni could have scored two run less in each of the innings what would be the impact on average average would be you can see that total will decrease by 10 so total will become 240 by and by 5 average would be 48 Next, if each number is multiplied by 2, what will be the impact on average? If each number is multiplied by 2, the average will also become double because total will now become 500 and average will become 100. Same way, if each number is divided by 2, if each number is divided by 2, your average will also will be divided by 2 as total will become not 250, total will become 125 and average will become 20. Five. this is average I am writing here. so very simple concept whatever you change in each observation the average will change accordingly if you add same constant to each observation average will increase by the same constant now where it is useful it is useful especially in age based question for example I will discuss one basic example on age based question then we will discuss some more questions in the later classes about age based question Let's say January 2011, January 2011, husband and wife, husband and wife, their average age, husband and wife, their average age is 26 years. Let's say January 2011, January 2015, what will be their average age? That is what we need to calculate. Now we don't know the individual ages of husband as well as wife. We only know their average age. Now here this concept I just explained is very helpful. January 2015, let's say husband was H years old in January 2011, wife was W years old in January 2011. Now as by the same concept husband will be 4 year older, January 2015 husband will be 4 year older, wife will also will be 4 year older than January 2011. Now you can see that each number has increased by 4 each number has increased by 4 so average will also increased by 4 average will become 26 plus 4 that is 30 years by the same concept I explained as the Dhoni runs so this is a very important concept in age based question even we don't know the individual ages of the persons but we know that each number is increased by 4 so average will also increase by 4 so average will become 30 years
let's start with the questions based on averages the only one concept in average was average is equal to total by n now simplest kind of question that can come in average is the height of six different trees grown in an open land are as follows numbers are given to you you need to find the average height of these trees now if you will really add these numbers it will be complicated because numbers are big enough so what we'll do in order to calculate in less time 9087 first number is 9087 i will write as 2000 minus 13 1971 i will write as 2000 minus 29 2021 i will write as 2000 plus 21 2013 next number i will write as 2000 plus 13 next number is 1989 i will write as 2000 minus 11 and 2031 i will write as 2000 plus 31 so i have written each number with respect to 2000 1987 as 2013 1971 i'm just writing here 1987 1971 next number was 2021 next number was 2013 next number was 1989 and next 2031 now what is the benefit of writing this you can easily calculate the average right now what is the average average we only know that total by n total of whole observation divided by number of observation now total is simply 2000 coming 6 times this is 2000 into 6 now you need to add this positive add first 21 plus 31 this will become 52 52 plus 13 this becomes 65 so we have 65 in plus what negative minus 13 minus 29 this becomes minus 42 minus 42 minus 11 minus 53 divided by total number of observations we have six observations so we'll get 2000 into 6 by 6 2000 plus 12 65 minus 53 12 by 6 that is 2 so we we'll easily get the average at 2002 in exam you just need to write this only this don't need to write this because this i have written just for the sake of explanation so this kind of question you can solve easily in less than a minute just by making each number with respect to 2000 next question the average age of a class of 18 students is 18 years if the age of their class teacher is included the average age of the class become 20 years find the age of the class teacher in years now we only know one concept average is total by n what about total total will be average into number of observations the first thing is given to you that average age of 18 students number of students are 18 n is 18 and their average is 18 so total age of all the student initially was 18 into 18 that was total age of all the students now if the age of class teacher is added let the age of class teacher is t years this becomes the total age of all the students as well as teacher this total age of all the students as well as teacher can be calculated on the right side by the same concept average is t by n now it is given in the question that with the inclusion of class teacher the average age of class becomes 20 years now average is not 18 average is 20 and number of observation number of persons becomes 18 students plus one teacher 19 so their total age will be again a into n 20 into 19 18 square is 324 plus t is equals to 3 80 t becomes 56 so with just simplest of equation you can calculate this answer this should not take less than 40 seconds should not take more than 40 seconds to solve such kind of questions in exam as i have equal the total age of all and total age of all left side as well as right side next question written the average age of 30 students of a class is 18 years if the age of teacher is also included the average increases by one year find the age of teacher in years you should first pause this video try to solve yourself if not able to solve then look at the way i have sold we know that average is t by n initially there are 30 students so n is 30 and average is 18 years so total of all 
the students total age is 18 into 30 this is total age of all the students if the age of teacher is included let's say age of teacher is t this is the total age of all including teacher as well as students if the age of teacher is included the average increases by one year now total number now average is t by n now total number are now is not 30 is 31 because teacher is also added number of observations is 31 average what about average average increases by one year earlier the average was 18 now the average will be 18 plus 1 19 so total of all all will be how much 19 into 31 this is total of all on the right side now equate this become 18 into 3 is this is 540 plus t 19 into 31 19 ones are 19 19 threes are 57 plus 1 58 589 so you get t is equals to 49 years t is equals to 49 years next question again try to solve yourself before watching the solution the average age of group went up by two years when a man aged 44 years was replaced by an old man aged 68 years how many members were there in the group initially now in this case we don't know how many persons were there and we don't know the average also so we have only one concept we have average equals to t by n once we don't know anything we have to assume average age we don't know let's assume that the average age was a we don't know how many persons were there initially so let's assume that n persons was there what was their total age then total age was total age was then a into n that was total age of initially what happened a man aged 44 years was replaced by an old man aged 68 years so that, that, that was the total age of all initially now 44 years old left so we will do subtract his age and 68 years person came we will add his age now this is the total age of all now this total is can be calculated by this average t by n formula now what happened when 44 years person gone and if 68 years person came the question says that the average age of group went up by two years now average is not a average is a plus 2 earlier the average was a now average is a plus 2 years as written in the question average went up by two years number of persons are still the same because one person gone and one person came so number of person are still n so what will be the total age of all now it will be a plus 2 into n again by simple simplest of equation you can find the answer less than a minute this is a n minus 44 plus 68 this become plus 24 is equals to a n plus 2 n multiple opening the bracket this a n a n cancel 2 n is equals to 24 what will be n is equals to 12 so this kind of question you can solve in aptitude exam in less than a minute by simply using the concept average equals to t by n and apply your common sense in the next class i will continue with more examples on averages